This is Mario Lara, a man whose life would change forever the very moment he opened up his new business. On August 2nd, Mario proudly announced to the civilians out in the beautiful streets of Mexico that his new piñata store was open for business, a business he worked hard towards opening, which would later become his worst nightmare. Just months after the big opening, strange things would begin to happen in the piñata store. On October 15th, Mario posted this alarming statement on his Facebook feed. Friends, this is the suspicious piñata. I woke up to it being thrown on the floor. They have told me to turn on some candles and to pray. Wish me luck. The priest is coming to bless the location. I mean, I think that it is good that he's getting a priest to bless the location, but I think he should have done it like the second he opened up. Usually that's when business owners do have someone bless the location. It's usually like a day before or the day of the opening. You know, I mean, of course, if the person who is opening up the business is the religious type. The same day, Mario made another statement updating the people of anything new had occurred since they were starting to worry. As of now, everything is normal, nothing strange has happened. I'll keep you guys informed. P.S. The suspicious piñata has been left locked in the restroom. On October 16th, Mario Lara decided to go live to explain the odd things that have been occurring in his piñata shop. He explains how some piñatas end up falling on their own and shows how the string holding them up had been yanked down. He states that with the piñatas that fell, was also the cursed piñata that we saw in the previous video. Mario talks about his camera system being triggered multiple times by movement the night before, and that is when the following day he saw the cursed piñata as well as the other piñatas on the floor, and since then that same cursed piñata has always been found on the floor every morning when they open the doors to the business. What is odd is that he mentions that the cursed piñata was found in the same place where an odd creature with big eyes was seen. He speaks as if he posted it on his Facebook page, but you know, I looked everywhere and it was nowhere to be found. I don't know, but I think Facebook probably took it down because maybe it was just too disturbing and it just didn't follow the regulations on Facebook. You know how it, you know, it's really strict now on YouTube everywhere, all these regulations. I don't know, but he explains that before he hangs the piñatas back up, he is going to set cameras to have, you know, the whole place under surveillance. In the live stream, Mario demonstrated how he would walk into the restroom to find the piñata on the floor even though he would leave it standing up. Just watch how in the live stream, he leaves the piñata standing up and leaves and then comes back a few moments later to find it back on the floor. <laughs> Este, vamos a ver las, las, ah, hijo de su puta madre. Es lo que les digo. Ay, ay, mi corazón. Este. Despite the strange things going on, he thinks that a possible explanation could be that the legs are not sturdy enough to keep it standing up, causing it to slide down. My theory is that the piñata only falls when there is no light, so I will leave the live recording. This took place the same day of the live stream before this one. The footage was around 20 minutes long. For a good amount of the footage, nothing occurred until it reached the 14 minute mark. After that, not much happened. The camera at some point seemed to move a little down, but I don't know, to me the possible explanation to that is that maybe he left the phone leaning on the wall or something, and of course it probably most likely just slid down a little. But honestly, I still don't think this seems too weird, at least to me. Just because, like he said, the piñata's legs may not be sturdy enough, causing it to slide down on its own. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep going through all these posts. 
because I feel like it might get better because this this once again is another story that is really huge in Mexico right now. Weird things are still happening. These past days, nothing has moved. Everything is in order for the exception of everything being full of long black hairs. Does anyone know if there's any relation to the strange events? Hell no, that's nasty. I, Mario really needs to keep his employees in check. They can't be leaving their musty, dusty, crusty hairs all over the place like that. Like, what the hell? It's a business. You gotta be, you know, professional, not leaving your long hairs everywhere. Like, that's that's a big no-no. But, you know, not now, in all seriousness, the hairs are odd because I know us girls, at least for me, you know, I know we leave hairs everywhere. We really do. We be shedding like dogs. I don't know. We really do be leaving hairs everywhere. But not like that. Because I don't know. At least for me, like I said, when we leave big hair accumulations, we pick them up. At least me. Like if I see like I left a big pile of hair, I pick that up. I'm not leaving it there because that's nasty. So I don't know. That does seem odd to me. I feel like an employee would have picked it up. Could it actually be that the cursed piñata is indeed cursed with some sort of witchcraft? I don't know if you guys know, but in Mexico, witchcraft is really big out there. You know, at least from where my mom's side of the family is from. Like, I've heard so many stories about witchcraft and my mom being like, no, 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 what if, what if, like, they do witchcraft? Like, she'd always be talking about that. And I'm like, are you for real? Because she usually doesn't believe in this kind of stuff. Like, like La Llorona, if you guys know about her, she's the weeping woman in Mexico who cries for her children at night, like the ghost. My mom doesn't believe in that. Everybody else believes in that. My mom's always so, um, you know, she just doesn't believe in stuff like that. So when she was talking about witchcraft, she really does believe in witchcraft and she'd be scared. So I don't know, maybe someone did some sort of like witchcraft things on his store or the piñata. I don't know. Or on him. So, I don't, this is just, this is a mystery. Now, I'm even starting to kind of get convinced that something is really up. Because that, that's just weird. Like, those hairs, that is really weird. Like I said, I feel like the worker employee would have picked them up if they're hairs. Like, who's just going to leave their long hairs all over the store like that? I mean, I know I wouldn't. So, I don't know. After a long day of picking up hairs and working, later that night, Mario received another alert. Security cameras just sent me motion alerts. Who is down to pull up and face whatever is happening in my store once and for all? Not that I'm afraid to go on my own, haha, but with around 10 people, I'm down to go. Brace yourselves. What you are about to see next will send chills down your spine. It sure did tomorrow. I don't think he will be able to sleep any longer. I would have preferred not to have seen the video. It will be a long night for me. If you are very susceptible, better not watch. I have no doubts anymore. Camera sent me motion alerts 20 minutes ago. Then it looks like they started failing and this is what comes out. No, 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 no. Mario really did me dirty. How the hell did he not tag me in the video or at least add in the post that I was featured in the video? He did me wrong. Like, I pop up for at least a couple seconds. He could have at least gave me a good ad, like a little shout out or something. 
But not, but for real this time. That thing was ugly. I don't know, is it just me? Or does it look a little like Momo? Like, that thing is fugly. I don't know, you know, after seeing that in the security camera, I don't think I would ever go back into that place in my entire life. Like, I'm not, I'm being dead serious when I say that whole shop would be, like, it would be sold in less than a minute. Like, I would not go back. Like, you really got me messed up. I really don't, anything paranormal, like, I cannot do that. Like, that's just too much for me. Like, that's a big no-no. Do you guys think that the creature that appeared in the security camera is actually the cursed piñata's true form? I don't know, something's just extremely wrong. And taking into consideration the times the piñatas fell and the strange hairs that appeared, I believe that he really needs to get a priest in there like pronto, like really fast. Somebody need to perform, I don't know, some sort of exorcism on that place to get the demons out of there. I don't know, I just want to be 100% real with you guys, cause you guys are my homies, you guys know that. As of right now, this is looking extremely fabricated, at least to me. I mean, just the way the footage kept cutting and the lights, I, I don't know, honestly, I don't really care if it's fabricated, just because it's just, it's an interesting story to me. And I'm pretty sure the story is just going to keep getting better. I mean, I'm telling you, for, like, for a reason, this is a very popular story in Mexico so I don't know I think it's gonna get better and I don't really care if it's fabricated because it's just interesting plus I mean I am Sophie isn't going to be back for a while so I don't know this is just going to keep us entertained in the meanwhile guys I am gonna leave this video here you are going to have to subscribe with post notifications on to find out what happens next I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you think that creature looked like Momo or like me. I mean, I'm pretty sure it looked like me to y'all, but I don't know. Just let me know in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. I mean, I always appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video.